Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Simon Says. I'm Simon, and today we're going to talk a little bit about CO2 sensors. Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night and found that your room is really stuffy and you've got a bit of a headache? Well, that could be caused by too much CO2 building up in your room if you didn't have the window open or at least the door into your house, the rest of the house open, so that, that CO2 could get dispersed. So I've been doing a little bit of testing on CO2 with this little device over here. Just a little portable display, e-ink display, battery powered, and it's got a really good quality sensor in it. And I found some really interesting insights out of seeing how much CO2 builds up in my house, office at work, on the aeroplane, and even in the gym class. So these are really nice. They are expensive between sort of three and four hundred dollars, but they do work really well. Problem I had is that it doesn't integrate easily into Home Assistant. And I always like to have my devices pulling into Home Assistant. So I started looking around on AliExpress for another sensor that I could use to create and pull this data into my Home Assistant. I looked at cheap ones, more expensive ones, but I came across this MHZ19. Um, someone recommended to me on the uh, Home Assistant uh, Facebook page and I really say thank you because this is an awesome device. So if we look at it, it's a little gold case. Inside here, we've got the sensor itself. So it's got a little infrared um, uh, infrared LED and a sensor. And it's gonna measure that based on how much infrared is actually detected by the sensor. So if we scroll down here and we have a look at this, you will see that um, the device runs off five volts for fine, which means we can pull the information or the power directly from our ESP32 device. So that's easy. Um, it measures up to 10,000 parts per million, which is great. The highest I've ever achieved was 7,000. It was at a spin class in the gym, 7,000 parts per million. Crazy. They really need to get some ventilation there. Warm up time, pretty good, three minutes. Response time, 90 seconds to two minutes, not bad. And it's got low, it's got temperature compensation as well. So great little device. So let's have a look at how does this actually measure the CO2. So what happens, we've got our infrared lamp on the one side and a sensor on the other side. And the air flows in and out of the box. So what happens as the infrared comes along here, the CO2 particles actually absorb some of the infrared. So the more CO2 we've got as a concentration in our air, the less infrared rays we're gonna receive on this side, and therefore we can calculate how much CO2 is in the actual air. Really, really simple. So let's have a look at how we connect our ESP32 to the pins on the sensor. So let's have a look, here's our sensor here. So what we want to do is we want to ground and a voltage in. So we just use the ground and the voltage in. Um, ground there, voltage out on our ESP. And we then take a RX and a TX for the receive and the transmit. So we take the TX from here. And we connect that to the RX on the ESP. And we take the TX on this side and we connect it to the RX on the sensor. So four cables, really simple. We then connect up our little USB cable and we plug that into the laptop. Really, really simple. Next step is we come along here to ESP Home and we collect our YAML code here. So we copy that, come over to Home Assistant. I will leave a link below in how to create or add ESP Home into Home Assistant. Pretty simple. Mine is already added in here. So now what we're going to do is create a new device. Give it a name, CO2 sensor. All right, we go next. It's running on an ESP32. So we go next and we're just going to skip and we're going to open the code up there. All we have to do now is put in our password. So we're going to put our Wi Fi SSID and we're going to put our Wi-Fi password in. These always needs to be like that. So we'll put that in and then all we do is we come along here, select a space there and we paste that code in. 
So it's got the GPIO 3 and 1 as the RX and the PX, and it creates a sensor here with the name for the CO2 value and for the temperature. And you can see here it's updating every 60 seconds. You could change that. If you wanted to, we can also set up a calibration on this device where it actually pushes it into calibration mode, and then you put it outside in the fresh air to calibrate it back to 400 parts per million which is the standard base rate for outdoor air. But I'm not going to worry about that for now. So we go save. All we do now is we basically install this. We press the install button, plug it into the computer. All we do now, we plug it in. We press the little boot button over here. Um, we select the COM port and we upload the file to our ESP. Once that is done, we close that. We go down here to our settings page and if we look at our devices and services we will see that it will appear within our ESP home as a CO2 sensor. So I'm just going to go in there and there it is over there. So it's bringing in our CO2 446 at the moment, bedroom windows open, lots of fresh air and our temperature. Really really simple. Now we can add that to our dashboard as a gauge and we can start recording our CS2. Thank you very much for your time. It's been great to chat again. Have a great week.